So apart from boring everyday crap, everyday system matrix crap, the stuff that we're supposed to talk about, the, the weather, the job, the debts, the troubles of the world, what I'd really like to talk about and what I really love to talk about and I, the other night I actually finally got to talk to someone about like with my voice instead of typing is the mysteries of the universe the crazy stuff that we all experience I think but we don't not allowed to talk about and so therefore we never come to any kind of conclusion about what what it all means like I know, we know that there's more to it than than our everyday stuff I mean pe everyone experiences deja vus everyone experiences you know coincidences that seem like miracles everyone it kind of I, I say everyone I, these are things I think everyone experiences I think everyone experiences dreams and when they wake like some dreams where they wake up and go did that just did that actually happen or is it just a dream? I think just you know that's common stuff and then we've got the other stuff which I think only people after they've had some kind of traumatic event in their life can then experience it's like once they stop and let go of the ego stuff the the, the stuff that this world and this system made us to be like when the world told us who we are and we started living that way and then because experiencing world stuff doesn't match <laughs> doesn't match the ego because you can't go into work and you know you can't experience crazy at night time and then go into work the next day well this is what's happening to me but it doesn't like when before the traumatic event that wakes you up to saying hang on a second <laughs> what the hell is this um, you have to just dismiss so much of the mystery and I would like to you know it's not like I believe everything that you know that happens to me but I would love to be able to just like freely talk about it but you can't because you know you talk about it and if, if the person that you're talking to has never had that same experience which is pretty much what I think happens either they've they're also in their you know their their identity and their identity can't let allow them to explore these crazy topics so they immediately dismiss what you experienced and then you start to self-doubt yourself well yeah okay well maybe it was just a coincidence maybe it was something logical but I think there's a lot of things in this world that just don't don't um, match up to the logic and rather than sending myself crazy because I can't talk about it with anyone I'm just putting it out there that these are the kind of things that I'd love to talk about and not with the people who have gone like right down into crazy land with it because you still have to question what it is because we don't know like we are still you know we don't know and, and we trust a, trust a lot into um, government funded science and you've got to know that <laughs> without them we would be experiencing this stuff anyway and having it's just like they like I love at least that quantum physics has started to become a little bit more <clears throat> mainstream as a theory and things like that because finally people can sort of start talking about the the, the beginning the, the basic stuff at least the, the the fact that you know a lot more is possible than what we've been you know told is our truth but how about like that none of it is true even the crazy and that this whole thing is whatever we imagine and that's why so many people have different beliefs that they believe is belief, that they believe is truth because they're imagining and they're actually experiencing what they've imagined and they're co-experiencing what other people have imagined. I want to say like things like um, energy healing, right? I've had Reiki done to me over the years many, many, many times 
um, and never felt anything. And I felt like they're all a little bit of a, a little bit of a scam. And then I had Reiki done last year. I think it was last year. I wrote a Facebook thing about it, and I felt it everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I knew exactly where she was working on. It was the most incredible. Like what? What? I. Well, I'm a believer. And if you look at me a, a few months ago, I was like questioning, you know, aliens and stuff like that. Because I was saying, you know, yeah, I'm sure. I think that we are not the only ones, you know, sharing this world. Not just in physical form, but in, you know, multidimensional forms. Especially when you start looking into that and going, oh, okay, that's actually very possible and you could put your mind around it and you can actually make a lot more things possible in your head and therefore you could be open to a lot more of the crazy that people talk about and realize that they're probably not that crazy actually <laughs> uh, the worst part is that a lot of the crazies I think get on board and start making uh, I don't know they sort of like a lot of the crazies get into that kind of stuff and then they make all these weird ass over-the-top videos uh, but at the same time, I know that I don't know anything. I don't know shit from my perspective. But yeah, so I, would, I got an opportunity to talk to one of my friends the other night about multidimensional beings, reptilians, uh, what we, what happens to us after we die, uh, religion and spirituality, of course, um, law of attraction, moneyless living, all this kind of thing, like the stuff that you don't talk about in everyday life. But the conversation went as if I was talking to you about your breakfast, you know, like so easy when you when you are free to talk to someone about like you're not saying, OK, this is truth. I'm just you're just bringing up the different theories like what is this and being able to talk about it. And I liked having that such a free discussion about anything without the um, the problem with a lot of these topics is when you go down to that path, they're so convinced that it's um, true. And it, it might be, I'm not saying that it's not. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's not true. I'm not saying that it's true. I'm saying, can we just explore these subjects as if we're talking about our morning coffee? Like, just talk about, like, bring it up, express it. Let it, let it marinate. Let's, let's make this mystery, these mysteries a little bit more normal so that we can find out the truth. And so that we can experience more of what the universe has to offer because there is so much that I want to share that I don't even feel like I can share on the, I mean, I have to make it mainstream and I, because one, I don't know what I'm experiencing. So I'm like, I don't want to um, say something as if it's true when it might be easily explained away by something else. And so then I make it all mainstream. So like I'm having this kind of spiritual crisis right now and I'm making it mainstream so that I can talk about it on my channel so that I can at least get through it um, in a normal way. But I really want to be able to discuss anything um, and not in a way where we think, hey, we know this is real. No, that's what we're, that's in a reality that we're experiencing, but we still don't understand how it works. And we still don't understand exactly what's behind why we're having these different experiences. And I just want to be able to explore those kind of ideas with people without their pre, um, their, their judgments and their, their beliefs that they've taken on. Because they're the hardest people to speak to because they're so judgmental and so fixated on their truth when honestly, you just got to admit, you really don't know shit. No one knows shit. You only, you're experiencing different things and you're coming up with different ideas about what it is depending on the experiences that you've had before and the conversations that you've had before and the discussions that you've had with other people before, but you really don't know shit. I don't really know shit. And I come to my own conclusions and I change my beliefs every day because everything's an option for me. There is a different way of different, you know, I can look at it this way and I go, oh, that's really cool. But I'm still got that open, thing in my mind for somebody to explain why I experienced this. I haven't become fixated on my experiences where I think certain things. And that's about as crazy as I'm going to get. 
until I feel more comfortable, confident and um, have more of these easy discussions with people about, you know, the mysteries of the universe. Bye.